Meetings over meetings, huh? Meetings over meetings, meetings and phone too and shit like that, you know? We gotta do that. Well, hey man. How you doing, bro? I'm good, how are you? Right. Very good, very good. We're shooting some content for the YouTube video here. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm more kind of like the shy guy, you know? Oh, you're the shy guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet how you. you. Bro? You good? Yeah, I'm good. What about you? Very good, very good. Try one more time. But I had no more money left, right? I had no more money left, so I actually went to my mom. Mom, if you can lend me $1,500 to buy this mentor here, I promise you, I'm gonna pay it back thousands of times. I'm gonna make it work now. I promise you. And that I failed it for two years now, right? I, are you sure, Philip? I'm 100% sure. So she agreed, she lent me the money. I bought a mentor uh, that taught me how, uh, how to sell other people programs on social media as an affiliate marketer. And within 30 days after going all in, right, because maybe before, before I half asked it, but now I lost everything. Now I really want it, right? So in, within 30 days, I made $9,300. Six months, $233,000. And within two years, I made my first million dollars online. Oh. Moving to a penthouse in Roskilde, bought a Mercedes AMG, bought my mom a new car. Nice. And then I became the top 1% affiliate. Oh. So I decided, okay, I know how to do this shit. Uh. I can teach other people how to do it. So instead of making 50% of the sale as an affiliate, I made 100% of the sale. Mm. And then within, within, I made my first million in two years. In two and a half years, I made $10 million. And now three years, $25 million online. Wow. It just went, boop, 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 boop. I retired my mom, uh, my dad's house burned it down. I bought him a brand new apartment uh, with fully furniture and the whole shit. Uh, I retired my mom, bought her a Mercedes AMG. My, my, my brother went down with stress and had, he got fired from his job. I can help him now so he didn't have to sell his house and stuff like that, right? So, uh, now we're here. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Pretty crazy. This is, uh, it's, it's, it's fascinating to me always how the stories are similar, right? If you, if you look at the really successful people, they always hit rock bottom at the end and they always took a decision at some point that like, you know, like I know that I have the potential, nobody else sees it, but I know it that I have it. I can fucking do it. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that, that's exactly like, yeah. and then, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, and, and then I see many people in the, in the program and uh, on social media, oh, you don't understand my situation, I have it so hard. That's a good thing. Exactly. That's a good thing, because then you want it even better, yeah. right? Then you're gonna make it work. Yeah, but the pain point is not big enough if they if they if they cry like no. Old. Then it's not big enough. Then exactly. they don't want it bad enough. I also do it on the live calls. But how bad do you want it? Yeah. And stop complaining. Exactly. Do it. Right. Yeah. And that's the difference between crybabies and losers and the ones that keep staying down here than the ones that don't complain and just take action and goes to this place here. Right. Exactly. Yes. So yeah, and I got students that made. Seven hundred thousand dollars in seven months, and travel across the U.S. and bought dream cars, and also retired as mom, bought more dream cars and shit like that. Quitted that job, paid off credit card loan and shit like that. So it's amazing you can make an impact like that. Nice, right? Very cool. Very cool. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank you. I can beat one thing though. I was a hundred thousand dollars in debt. One hundred thousand. Yeah, when I when I was at at the same point. I, I, I was always entrepreneurial as well. I started, I tried to be like, aside from my DJing, I like had side hustles. I was studying business as well. And then I was like trying to do like, and the business went well for like five years. Then I had two friends jumping in oh, and they let me hang dry at these son of a guns. And they're like, I signed contract. Yeah, I, I was young though, right? And I signed contracts that I shouldn't have signed. They're like, okay, we're part of the, of the win, but if the company makes debt, you're personally liable. So I like, and then there was like some, some like downturn and we, we, we had, we had one of the first online shops on Amazon, eBay and uh, like back in 2006, okay. seven yeah. for tires and rims for cars. Okay. And it went well for three years and then one year it was not good. And I had to pull the trigger and I was left with like 100,000 euros in debt. Shit. Sure. And that brought me to Dubai. And that's what I, made my you... first one and a half years are living in a shared apartment here. With with somebody else? With it was a four bedroom. 
I had one bedroom for myself. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, the first half year I rented only the couch in that same uh, shared apartment because there was nothing free. You kind of also hit a rock uh, bottom, bro, right? 100%. And I mean, he, he knows me even from back then, no? Yeah, I, I know you since you live in Burj Khalifa. That's not yeah, rock, okay, rock okay, bottom. Yeah, that's not bottom. <laughs> <laughs> you live in Burj Khalifa? Yeah, for five years already. Yeah. Okay. I'm not actually, not, I'm just not buying my apartment. Okay. Yeah. When, when, I, when I was broke, super broke, and I just started real estate, I, I was, I was every, every weekend I went to the Starbucks in Dubai Mall and just sitting in front of Burj Khalifa because I, I was probably with myself one day living there. And I remember that like, it, it was, I still have pictures of that on my old desk, on my old, uh, uh, and that, that's what I promised myself. One day I'm gonna live there. Just, mm -hmm. just rent a studio for one year. Yeah. Because I and knew that you, it's, yeah. You visualize it. Exactly. Right. Every day, yeah. every day. And then, then, and then 2018 I pulled the trigger and did we rented uh, this apartment. And yeah, that was probably a super good feeling. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 100%. And then also always destiny comes into place, right? What do you mean? My wife, she always was against it. And then she got fired from her job. And she found the job right opposite of Burj Khalifa. And I said, of course, of See, course. It's meant to be. It's exactly. meant to be. <laughs> I told you we're going to move there. And if you move to downtown because you have to move your job, there's no other place than Burj Khalifa. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Yeah. I love it. Awesome. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Pleasure meeting you, bro. Thank you for time. All the best. Yes. Thank you. You guys, you guys gotta listen to that shit. If you skip it to the video here, then you gotta scroll back and, and listen to the when I talk to the guy. He also had a pretty interesting story. And uh, for you guys to think uh, that you, oh, you don't know my situation and stuff like that. Uh, I fully understand your situation. And if you hit rock bottom, there's only one way to go, and that's fucking up, right? Believe it. And you can't achieve it. I don't know how many times I have to say that, but you gotta do that shit, right? You can accomplish anything. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> <laughs>